Hello guys. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our new episode. We hope you had a good week. We did have a good week. We were very productive. Not too much planting this week. We were more like in construction mode. We made another uh, chicken coop. And uh, it's, it's a very, very cheap one. So very low budget uh, chicken coop, but it turned out very nicely. We are going to show you all about this, of course. And uh, yeah, maybe in the news you've seen that there's a lot of uh, tropical storms in the Caribbean area uh, in this moment. And we also felt this. And we, we also uh, had some, some damages here, but really minor damages, nothing to really worry about. But still we had to do some repairs also. And so we are also going to show about that and well everything else uh, we have been doing here this week uh, So I would say let's start the video. We start with animals. All right. Have fun watching So this week our first project will be, uh, yeah, redoing the chicken coop, like, yeah, it's uh, falling apart a little bit. The wood is just damaging so fast here, so we have to, uh, yeah, make a new one and uh, we want to make it a lot smaller, like only a quarter of its size now, because really it's just for them to sleep or uh, to have a safe space when it's raining and the rest of the time they are uh, out anyways so uh, we need a, a lot smaller space and so we can leave the, the big coconut palm out of it as well which uh, we prefer we already brought a lot of uh, wood but no worries we didn't cut down any trees this is from um, from the neighbor's land we showed you last episode they are uh, cutting down everything to uh, saw corn and yeah they are also cutting down all these uh, trees medium sized trees so yeah, we can just go there and uh, collect the collect the wood, which I cut down already anyway. So at least it gets a good use. We're not done yet, but you might see and hear it. It's raining, of course. When we are doing this, it starts raining. <laughs> One week no rain, and now this. But well, good news is we already had to uh, make the roof, and we made the sticks where they are going to sleep. Uh, we are going to put some uh, material uh, around it, so it's more protected from the rain and uh, the wind as well, so they don't get cold at night. Because at night when there's a storm. It's getting pretty cold. The temperature is falling like uh, 10 degrees, so uh, for the chickens that can be dangerous. And here, then we will be uh, done. So tomorrow we have another birthday. Jan is turning six. So Anjul was already preparing the piñata today, and uh, now. I will have to do my part and make the birthday cake. Uh, it will be like a crumble cake with pineapple and coconut. Very Caribbean. <laughs> We're good 
to go. Oh, it's ready. And it's looking delicious. We might have to try tonight already. <laughs> So today it's Jan's birthday and last week was Paulina's birthday and here we introduce uh, one of their birthday presents it's for the two of them meet Luna, Luna. she's a German Shepherd puppy like yeah a month and a half old now and we hope she's going to be our guardian dog protecting the chickens protecting the kids and uh, our other dog, Lily. <laughs> So yesterday we couldn't finish, today we could finish, now it's all closed up. Uh, yeah, it's still like uh, very improvised, um, but we kind of like it, we like it more than before. It's smaller, so it, it, it would be easier to clean as well. Um, yeah, and it's just to, to sleep and to hide from the rain, so it's more than enough space for the chickens. And the great thing is, uh, so far, we could uh, reuse all the materials, the wood we found already on the, on the, on the ground, uh, the chicken wire uh, we brought from, from our garden area and we cycled it. And yeah, so that's very nice. here first now you can uh, see the chicken coop from outside and the uh, second last week uh, we gave you a tour of our food forest of our land and uh, one thing we didn't show you uh, is this area here uh, around the chicken coop when we came here there was absolutely nothing so we collected a lot of plants like at this size in all around and uh, look it's, it's uh, growing amazing we love it. It's like, yeah, to, to give the, the chickens some more shade, to give them some more privacy. I don't know if chickens need privacy, but <laughs> never, never mind. And uh, simply, it's looking very beautiful. And here uh, in front, we also planted some uh, physalis. They are now in flower. There are also some fruits growing already. So we will see if uh, here, maybe they are doing better. So there's another repair project. We had a very strong winds, like uh, this Hurricane Julia. She didn't come here in full force, but we definitely felt it. It was a lot of wind. So the, the canals um, on one side of our house, uh, we used to collect all the rainwater, just uh, fell off. Yeah, it was a little bit scary with all this wind. And uh, yeah, our house also is not like the most uh, stable, <laughs> but yeah, 
we are uh, I think we are in a quite safe spot uh, we get some rains and we get wind but we, we uh, in the position where we are we never get like the full force but yeah it's definitely something uh, to have have in mind making projects here that uh, yeah we also uh, get to feel these powers of nature Like all the weeks, let's go and harvest some plantain. So in this zone, under the or next to the big mango tree, there's also uh, cassava, which is has grown huge. So I'm going to take out one and uh, let's see how big it is and in the mango tree ah, we have to show you the first mangoes are already showing which is very good news they're all over so yeah we are already very excited it's still it's going to take some time but we are already very excited for mango harvest. <laughs> well, not that bad, <laughs> but I guess could could uh, stay a little bit longer inside. And here you can also see Julia's work. There's uh, three bunches of uh, plantain, which are yeah not really at good size yet, but it was so much uh, wind. There's another one, and over there a third one. It was too much wind, they just came, came down. So, we got another uh, parcel from Germany. It took quite some time, but finally it's here. And uh, that's perfect uh, to answer a question we got. Someone asked us uh, if the kids are going to school. So, the kids are going to school like normally like one or maybe two days a week. But oftentimes it's not possible because of the climate if it's raining a lot uh, they can go or oftentimes the teacher isn't coming because she's sick or because the road is bad and she can't come so yeah most of the times we homeschool them uh, Spanish and German and yeah that's uh, also the content of this uh, parcel most of it are uh, German school books for the next school year we are a little late because the parcel took so long but yeah now we can start Finally got this material here to finish our chicken coop. Uh, well, it surely isn't the most beautiful this material, but uh, simply for our budget, it's the most uh, cheap and uh, yeah, also the most easy to to use. I would say, pretty easy. Uh, yeah, and it will serve its purpose. It will stop the wind. It will stop the rain. So that that's uh, yeah, that was the idea. So I would say mission accomplished. Uh, the the chickens have their new coop. We we actually we like it a lot. It's nothing uh, spectacular. But first 
it was very cheap. We almost didn't spend any money. Second, uh, it's a lot smaller, which is uh, a lot better. It's so much easier now um, uh, to clean. Um, yeah, so for us uh, that it's smaller, it's an advantage. Also, they are just sleeping in there. The rest of the day, they have a lot of space. And yeah, also the places where they sleep, I like them a lot more than before. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very good place. It will be a lot safer uh, from the rain and uh, from the wind. And I also think it will be safer from uh, like uh, these opossums which came at night because it's a lot more closed. We use the uh, metallic chicken wire. So uh, it's a lot more difficult to chew through this one. Well, still we have the, the door open, but uh, yeah. I think it's a lot safer now also. Yeah. Oof, it's so hot today, right? Oof, we just been collecting some yucca and we came back totally wet. <laughs> it's uh, today it's incredibly hot. Uh yeah. The yucca is for cooking, of course, for making more flour. We are quite low on uh, yucca flour. We are, uh, have been making almost only uh, plantain flour these days. And uh, tomorrow we are going to the village. So uh, we also are going to uh, take some kilos to sell. And uh, yeah, now we are going to get down uh, some more plantain. So we can take some kilos of yucca, some uh, like maybe 50 plantains and uh, sell that and like this we can make our groceries basically for free well it's, it's like a interchange a exchange and yeah that's uh, always very nice so here in this zone we just collected the cassava and yeah there has been no planting this week so far so uh, it can't go on like this a week without planting would wouldn't be a good week right so uh, we decided we will just uh, plant we wanted to wait until next year, but uh, we can't wait. <laughs> so we are going to uh, plant here our first four uh, cocoa trees, more cocoa trees. And what else do we got here? Sugar cane. Some sugar cane we are going to plant here in between all the stuff. And we got a little lemon tree. And we got two chili plants, which we are also going to plant here. So yeah, in this zone, uh, as we said, we, we had some yucca, there's still more yucca and uh, we had a very nice breadfruit tree and we totally forgot about it, that it's in between the cassava plants. So yeah, we uh, heard it a little bit, so now we had to put him like a support and uh, we hope he, he recovers, but I think yes, it's looking quite good, it's not, it's not completely uh, split, so uh, yeah, just pretty uh, bad bent over and we got a, another tree here uh, an avocado tree uh, and it's also looking quite nice it has, has been growing great uh, in between the cassava so here we got one of the cocoa trees and uh, what we are doing is we prepare their uh, planting hole we give them some compost yeah to give them a little boost maybe So that's it for this week, but before we finished, uh, Tim had some questions for us, so uh, we are trying to answer some of them. Uh, before we start, like um, all the stuff on our life before uh, this adventure here, uh, we really recommend to, uh, to watch like uh, this video, 8 month living off grid in Colombia, we, we talk a lot about that there, so uh, yeah, uh, if you're really interested in that. You should check out this video uh, so we don't have to repeat too much about that but i'm quite sure when we are uh, like having our one year anniversary we are going to touch uh, this topic again and it's uh, in december already so uh, or you watch back this video or you have some patience and uh, you will hear about that uh, also there there was some uh, podcast we did <coughs> a while back where we also talk a lot about our motivation uh, uh, and our life before so uh, I try to find the link and put it in the video description as well um, yeah to also uh, could listen about that so 
the next thing, of course, our our kids and also we we are eating uh, very good. We are not suffering from hunger. We have first we have a lot of food already here growing, and uh, second we also um, we sell some uh, of our produce and buy uh, proper vegetables and uh, yeah pasta sometimes rice and. Uh, yeah, we are uh, many things that we cannot grow here. Yeah, many things we cannot grow. So uh, yeah, concerning this, you don't need to worry. We are all uh, healthy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, we also uh, yeah we have access to uh, health uh, insurance and uh, yeah healthcare. Well, there's in Colombia there's like uh, this basic uh, healthcare for everyone and if you're below uh, some certain income it's like uh, government paid uh, and we are in this uh, uh, healthcare it surely is not the best but uh, if there's any emergency or anything else uh, we can just go to the hospital and uh, yeah we, we will get treated no problem um, but if it's uh, something more special, it's very difficult because you need authorization for every every uh, step. every step, mm -hmm. and it it will take a lot of time. So uh, in this case, if if it's something urgent and yeah, you 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 really have to look how to uh, to pay it uh, out of your own pocket because if not, you you will wait months before you uh, get the proper attention. Um, yeah, but uh, for the basic needs, uh, there is everything we need. It this is covered. And yeah, uh, to to uh, tell you again, our land is like one uh, hectare, like uh, ten thousand square meters. Um, I don't know how many acres it is. Uh, we we don't uh, uh, calculate in acres here and in Germany either, so I don't know about that. Uh, what's the conversion? And yeah, it's it's also it's unofficial. They say it's one hectare. At the moment, uh, there is also like a government agency which is making the proper uh, documents for the all the land around here, and they are also uh, going to measure. Uh, in the process of that, they are going to measure uh, it properly. So maybe uh, in the end, it's because for us it feels a little bit bigger. So maybe in the end, it's a little bit more. But uh, not not too much more. So it's around uh, ten thousand uh, square meters. So that's the size of the land. And how did we find it? Well, uh, our idea was uh, the Caribbean trip. We wanted to be in the coast in the Caribbean. So uh, we started in another zone, quite like I, I would say maybe like five hundred kilometers even from here. And uh, yeah, our budget from the beginning was uh, slim. Uh, and where we were, it was very touristic and very expensive. It, it was like yeah impossible for us to find anything even uh, the, the like excuse me to say the worst uh, shithole was costing tons of, of money mm. so yeah there it's very expensive so yeah we we, we traveled a lot in Colombia first even we, we went uh, in the interior uh, very uh, far down south and visited friends and and then like the universe sent us uh, like a message. a message <laughs> and uh, we found something about Necocli online and we, we checked that out it wasn't a, a proper uh, wasn't e also for us but uh, so we stayed here and kept looking and uh, yeah you, what you have to do is like talk to the people uh, in in the place and they 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 always appear like all the offers like oh uh, my uncle is selling and other uh, friend of uh, a friend is selling and and like this you get all the information and you have to uh, look like everywhere and you have to look at yeah like 50 uh, different properties to, to find something fitting and, and like this yeah we, we we found ours which is like um, yeah for us it was important that it's not not completely uh, just grass or yeah, empty. for us, yeah. empty. For us, it was important that it has uh, like a house where we can already uh, live. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that uh, there's at least some plants that it was uh, already full of plantain. It was a big bonus, of course. Um, yeah, like this, we found it, and of course, it had to fit our uh, budget, which which was like um, the most difficult uh, condition, I would say. 
and yeah the biggest challenge as we said uh, many times surely was um, the water situation at the beginning there was absolutely no water uh, but w we are quite confident that we solved it at the moment our biggest issue I would say is the road so uh, with the car we have we we can't we can't leave when we want to we we are really dependent that the road is kind of dry. kind of dry and in a, uh, yeah quite good uh, state if not we, we, we can't uh, uh, go to the village with our car sometimes we uh, have with yuka cassava uh, planning tomorrow we are going to the uh, village and well in the night uh, it, it's raining a lot and, and we can't go the next day and uh, with the cassava it's like yeah it's, it's best to uh, to sell it or, or to consume it pretty um, pretty okay. fresh um, it's not like the plantain that you uh, that it, it will stay green uh, another two weeks maybe before uh, it ripens uh, no it's it's damaging pretty fast once uh, you collect it so yeah that's always a problem but well if not we are we are making uh, flour, flour so that's also okay and the kids eat a lot and the kids <laughs> and, and we also we like it a lot mm. so yeah but that's like the the, the biggest ch uh, challenge at the moment and we we want to solve it by uh, changing the car by um, yeah selling ours and, and get a, a more uh, suited car for our situation we are in this at the moment but yeah selling our car is not too easy here getting another one is uh, easier we have already some interesting offers there but uh, yeah getting our car sold at the proper price is like a challenge definitely because it's a city car it's a city car and uh, who needs that here <laughs> even even inside the village there are so big holes in the street or uh, like not even half of the uh, of the of the village has uh, like pavement uh, it's also like dirt road there with big holes so yeah even in in the in in the village it's difficult with our car so yeah it's, it's pretty difficult uh, selling it but we are in this and yeah at some point we will make it <laughs> So yeah, uh, we hope uh, we could uh, answer some of your questions. And uh, yeah, if, if you guys got more questions, always uh, ask us. We are happy to, uh, to clarify uh, and to answer them. We, we, we are really happy about your interest in our story. Um, say hello, Luna. <laughs> and yeah, uh, now we talked a lot more than we wanted to, but yeah that's how it is we hope you liked the video if you did leave us uh, a like and subscribe to our, to our channel if you haven't done it yet if you want to support us uh, we are always happy about a virtual coffee so uh, check out our coffee page the, you can read uh, the, uh, the link down there and uh, it's also in our video description so what's left is to wish you a very nice week stay safe stay healthy and be See back next week. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye.